Hi everyone, I'm here today with a top 10, 20-ish favorite Makeup Geek products. So these are my all-time must-have products from Makeup Geek that I love, and I wanna share with you what I would highly recommend from the Makeup Geek line. So I'm gonna start with brushes because there's some brushes that are a major, 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 major standout to me that I use almost every single day. So I wanna share those with you first. There's one face brush that I absolutely love. Their blush and contour brushes are great, but I really love their foundation stippling brush. It is a flat top kabuki type brush. It's not quite as dense as the uh, Sigma ones, but I love this for buffing in my foundation. It cleans very, very nicely. Sometimes my Sigma brushes are a little difficult to uh, get all the foundation out of. These are very easy to clean. They so as you can see, it kind of flares out a little bit. It's not like a perfectly rounded circle. It kind of fans out, which I think makes it really easy to buff out the foundation. So I absolutely love this. I would recommend this brush if you're looking for a great foundation brush or brush for your cream or liquid foundations. Cleans easy, blends beautifully. Absolutely love this one. Now the other ones are eye brushes. So I have a couple here. I think one of these is actually a duplicate. Yep. Two, I have two of them, that's how much I love them. The Stiff Dome Brushes. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite brush for applying crease colors. So not necessarily that first color you go in and blend out to kind of give you a nice transition shade, but I'm talking about the deeper colors that you put into your crease. The Stiff Dome Brush is my favorite for that. It is, it's not super stiff like the name says. I mean, it does have quite a bit of give to it, but it is pointed at the top, it's tapered, it just gets right into that, you know, your crease, the socket so nicely, and it just really allows you to have a lot of control with the placement of your eyeshadow. So I absolutely love that. If you're looking for a great crease brush, I highly recommend the Stiff Dome Brush. The next one is the Soft Dome Brush. Now I love this one for blending out that crease color. So this one is the one I would use, and you'll see in um, actually the tutorial I did with this eye look, I will apply the color, the deeper, darker color in here and kind of blend it out. And then I apply my lid color and then when I kind of want to diffuse and blend those two colors together, but have it be a very like seamless, um, soft blend, I guess, I'll use the soft dome brush just to gently blend the colors together so it kind of blends upward or um, they blend together nicely. Sometimes if it's too coarse or too stiff, it kind of can look muddy, but these bristles are very, very soft and it just works so perfectly at blending those two colors together and just really getting in the crease and creating a really nice blended crease. That was long-winded, hopefully that made sense. But the soft dome brush and the stiff dome brush are amazing. All right, the next one is the Eye Blender Brush. Now this one is uh, a little, it's quite a stiff brush. It, it does have some give to it, but it's angled. It's got powder all over it, so it's like poof. Uh, it is angled, but also rounded. Now this is the brush I love for my outer V work. I can just put it right here in the outer V. It's already slanted. It already has a rounded curve. So when I'm wanting to put that deeper color in the outer V, I can just kind of stamp it on there and just slightly feather it in. And because it is tape or because it does have that curve to it, it works really nicely at just going with the contour of your eye. It's just my favorite. I don't know what the actual use for this brush was. It's an eye blender brush. For me, it's perfect for that outer V work. It just traces right into that your, into your crease and right along the outer lid perfectly. Again, that was the Eye Blender brush. The next two brushes are crease brushes. This is the pointed crease brush and the small crease brush. So obviously they look identical except for this one is, this one is smaller and this one is larger. Um, we'll start with the larger one. This one is another great one for putting in color in your outer V and just kind of I don't know, I guess the application of it, it doesn't work great for blending out that color just because it is so stiff. I also like this brush for really smoking out the lower lash line if you're going to do like a darker color and then smoke it out with like maybe whatever color you used in your crease. And I really love that for smoking out the lower lash line. It's a great brush for that. If you have smaller eyes, this will be too big, but it does work great for the crease. Now, if your eyes are a little bit smaller or you want a little bit more detailed, uh, smudging, I like the small crease brush. So this one, if you have smaller eyes or if you're doing really, really detailed work in your crease, this is great. Also love this for smoking out the lower lash line. I love this for getting into the inner corner. Fantastic brush, really, really love it. 
It is very stiff. It's a lot different than like the Sigma pencil brush. This is a lot smaller and pointier. This one's a little bit rounder and not quite as long bristles. But I love this for, like I said, inner corner, uh, real detailed work in the crease or smudging out that lower lash line. Okay, next gel liner. The Immortal gel liner is amazing. This is my, this is like one of my holy grail gel liners. The other one is the Anastasia one. It's very black, it's very matte, very easy to work with. If you can see in there, I have used almost all of it. I've kind of like gathered it all to the side. This gel liner is so fantastic, so easy to work with. Highly, highly recommend it. They have some other colors. They have purples, they have some like slate colors, uh, gunmetal grays. I think there's a silver, a blue. They work great as bases as well, but this black gel liner is amazing. It lasts all day, it doesn't smudge. I can't say enough good things about this gel liner. Okay, their pigments. Their pigments and glitters are fantastic. Some of my favorite, well, one of my favorite is Afterglow. There's Afterglow and then there's another one. I'll link it down below. I can't remember if it's I think it's Afterglow. That might be the dupe for Max Tan Pigment. If it's not, I'll link whatever one it is down below. But I love their pigments. They're extremely pigmented. They're easy to work with. They're beautiful. They're just some of my favorite pigments. And they can, you get a good amount of product to it. It's not very expensive. Their pigments are great. Also, their glitters. This is called a pigment, but it's uh, Utopia Glitter. And I actually just did a tutorial using this. I love it. This is one of the most unique colors I've ever seen. I don't want it to dump out, so it's like, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a beautiful, taupey, green, interesting, very complex <laughs> color, and it's so beautiful. I also did a tutorial using uh, Vegas Lights and Blitz, which are more pigments and glitters from them. Uh, they have one Insomnia, which is a dupe for Max Blue Brown pigment. I also did a tutorial using um, Kryptonite, which is a beautiful green. I'll link that down below. Some of the best pigments I've ever seen, I've ever used, they're beautiful. I can't recommend those enough either. And then onto some eyeshadows. I have a couple videos, I'll link them down below where I swatch all of my Makeup Geek shadows. I have a couple new ones that aren't in that, that video, but for the most part, I have them all um, in the videos linked down below. So I'll make sure I do that. But their shadows are extremely pigmented. They are creamy, buttery, blendable. They're not chalky, they're just absolutely amazing. So a couple of them that I use quite often that I really love, this one right here is called Vanilla Bean. It's a beautiful, just nude, perfect highlight shade. Very buttery and creamy. Great to apply all over the lid before you start blending out your colors or use as a brow bone highlight. The other one is Shimma Shimma, which is a beautiful kind of frosty champagne color. Peach Smoothie is a favorite of many, many people here on YouTube. It's the perfect blending color for in your crease. Uh, this is the other one that I use quite frequently. This one is called Creme Brulee. This one's a little bit deeper than Peach Smoothie. I'll swatch them side by side. Um, that did not work out so good. There you go. So that's Creme Brulee, that's Peach Smoothie. As you can see, Creme Brulee is a little bit more peach and a little darker. Um, Homecoming is stunning. I used this in the tutorial with uh, the Utopia pigment. It's a beautiful, taupey, um, pewter color, and then une Unexpected, I keep wanting to call it Uninterrupted. Unexpected, that is a beautiful dusty purple, and then I think this one's called Frappe. Nope, Latte. Latte is a great one. Also for the crease, it's a little bit more brown. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful shadows. Bada Bing, another great one. It's a dark brown, like a dark plummy brown with some gold sparkle. Um, what's the other one? and Cocoa Bear, that's another good one. So absolutely beautiful, creamy shadows, as you guys could see from those like really quick swatches. They're just stunning. I, I can't recommend these enough. So I will link um, all the colors I mentioned down below, but I'll also link the videos where I do like detailed swatches. So if you wanna see what they look like swatched, I will do that. But those are my favorite Makeup Geek products. I love, love, love Marlena's products. I love that she's a YouTuber that started her own line. I know all of her products. Oh, wait, actually, there's another thing. The blushes. My favorite, I'm just going to show you one blush because there's really, I have quite a few of them. Well, I have six of them, but the blush that I use the most is called Spellbound. It's a beautiful peachy color and oh my gosh, they're just so pigmented. 
so creamy. It's a beautiful peachy pink color. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just beautiful. So their blushes are amazing, their eyeshadows are amazing, their pigments are amazing, the gel liners are amazing. I just can't say enough good things about them. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know some of your favorite Makeup Geek products or what you've been loving lately and I'll talk to you guys later.